Lesson 5.4, use addition to check subtraction related facts. We can use addition to check if our subtraction is correct. When we subtract one part from the whole, the difference is the other part. When we subtract this one from the eight, the one part from the whole, the difference that's the answer in subtraction. The difference is the other part. We can add the 1 and 7 together. When we add the parts, we get the same whole again. We get the 8 again. We can subtract. Then we can use addition to check our answer. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. We put the 8 up here as an add-end. We add it to the 4, and it equals 12. The sum and the menu end are the same. And these are related facts, aren't they? We use the difference as the first add-end, and if the menu end, 12, and the sum, 12, are the same, we subtract it correctly. So whatever the menu end is, if it ends up as our sum, we know we did the subtraction correctly. Subtract and add to check the answer. We have 13 minus 4. We need to find the difference between 13 and 4. We can use counters. We can make 13 counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need to take four of them away. Now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 13 minus 4 is equal to 9. And the difference here is going to be the same as the add end. So we're going to put the 9 up here. 9 plus 4 is equal to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And our menu end and sum are the same, so we know we did the subtraction correctly. Here we have 11 minus 4. We can make counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We need to take away 4, take away 1, 2, 3, 4. We can cross these out that we took them away. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. The difference is going to be the add end so that we can check it. And we can add 7 plus 4. We can use count on, start with 7, the larger add end, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, it is 11. Our sum is 11. It's the same as this menu end, so we know we did our subtraction correctly, and we checked it with addition. Subtract, then add to check the answer. Bob has 14 seashells. Some seashells are small. Five seashells are large. Write the number sentences about the seashells. So we know that he has 14 in all. We also know that some of them are small, but we don't know how many. We do know that five are large. How do we find how many are small? We need to find the difference between five and 14. We do 14 as the menu in. And to find the difference between 5 and 14, we subtract the 5. And it will equal 
we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and we need to minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We had a 10 frame with 1 missing, so we know it's a 9. This difference is going to become an addend, isn't it? It moves up here as an addend, and then we use addition. So we know this has to be a plus. We also know that whatever this number is, is going to be the other addend. So if that's a 5, we know this is going to be a 5. And 9 plus 5, we know this is an equal. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Our minuend and our sum are the same. So we know we did this subtraction correctly. Let's try another one. Subtract to solve, then add to check the answer. Tim made 16 cupcakes. All but six of the cupcakes were chocolate. How many of the cupcakes were chocolate? We need to find the difference between 6 and 16. And the difference is an answer in a subtraction problem. So we know we're going to do subtraction. We're going to do 16 minus 6. We can use counters. Here we have 10 counters right here. Let me move these over a little bit. We have 10 counters here and we have 6 counters here. Altogether, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So out of 16 counters, if we take away 6, we can take away these. We're left with a 10. The difference is going to be an addend. It's going to move up here, isn't it? And when we add 10 plus 6, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The sum is the same as the minuend. We know we did our subtraction correctly. It said all of the cupcakes were chocolate, all but six. So they could have been vanilla or strawberry or some other flavor, couldn't they? It says all but six were chocolate. That means 10 were chocolate. Okay, let's try another one. Subtract to solve, then use addition to check the answer. There are 11 apples in a bowl. Emma used some of them to make an apple pie. It doesn't tell us how many, it just says some. Now, there are three apples in the bowl. How many apples did Emma use to make the pie? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many apples she used to make the pie. And what information are we going to use? That we had 11 in the bowl, and now there's only 3 in the bowl. So we could say, if we draw a picture, that here's the bowl. Those are the 3 that are still in the bowl. So how many apples did Emma use? We can count what's not in the bowl, couldn't we? We can start with 11 for our subtraction problem. That will be the menu end. We can take away the three apples that are still in the bowl. And whatever's not in the bowl is what she used in the pie. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our difference is an eight. 
And to check this, we know that the difference is going to be the add end up here, isn't it? This difference is going to be the add end up here. See? So we move it there. And then this space is going to be the same number as this one. So we have 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3, we can count on 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. We have 11. And the sum for our addition sentence is the same as the menu end in our subtraction sentence, so we know we did it correctly. So how many apples did Emma use in her pie? That's what it asked us. How many apples did Emma use to make the pie? She made, she used eight apples. Subtract, then add to check the answer. We have 12 minus 5. We can make 12 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many does that leave? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We know that the difference is going to be the add end to check it. This will be the same number, 5. And 7 plus 5 is, we can count on, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Our sum is the same as the menu end in the subtraction sentence. So we know we did it correctly. We subtracted correctly. Let's try this one. 10 minus 4. We can make 10 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can take away 4. And that's going to leave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know that the difference 6 is going to be the add end up here. We're going to use the same number here. And 6 plus 4, we can start counting from the larger add end 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our sum is 10, and it's the same as the minuen for the subtraction sentence, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. So we subtract, then we add to check the answer. If the problem is written stacked vertically, we have 10 minus 6, that equals a 4. This 4 difference, because that's the answer in a subtraction problem, becomes the add end. And we add the 4 to the other part, the 6. And 4 plus 6 is 10. Our sum is the same as the minuen, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. And when it's written as a sentence, 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. The 4 becomes this add end, just like it did here. We add the other part, the 6, and the sum should be the menu end in the subtraction sentence. We use the difference as the first add end. If the menu end and the sum are the same, we subtracted correctly. 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. The difference 7 becomes an add in. We use the same number part as here. And 7 plus 4 is equal to, counting on, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The sum is the same as the menu end, so we know we did our subtraction sentence correctly. Our next lesson is going to be unknown numbers and related facts. That's lesson 5.5. I hope you're learning a lot about addition and subtraction and how they can use related facts. 
and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.